On today's episode, we're answering the question, no, we're not because I'm on the wrong damn outline. I really recommend in the early stages, you keep it simple. Okay. So that is if a task management software is your thing, if it helps you, then look at things like Asana or, you know, something that's free versus a paid product, but we'll talk about that. Uh, Team communication. I love using Slack. Now Asana does have a team communication tool, but it is not very intuitive, at least not yet. So I use Slack for team communication if it's you and more than one person. So if you have a virtual assistant, if you have somebody who's doing your design or your copy or whatever, having everybody in the Slack channel actually really, really works. And then essentials, like a super essential is having a Google Drive. The reason I pick Google, Google Drive over Dropbox is two very simple reasons. One, Google Drive, you can do cooperative documents. Now, Dropbox has added that still clunky, just going to say. But the second reason is, is that you run out of space faster on a Dropbox than you do on a Google Drive. So if you have a virtual assistant and that virtual assistant is maybe in a different country and they have the free version of Dropbox, they're going to run out of space super quick with Summit, with graphics and expert pictures and bios and everything that go into these things. And they're not going to be able to access it unless they upgrade. And not everybody wants to pay to upgrade their Dropbox. Most people have the space in their Google Drive. So that's the choice there. I really like that. And one of the things that we do with with our personal summits, and I know that you do with the summits of your clients, is you have template documents. Oh, yeah. In Google Drive, you set up the folder for them. And now it's like, okay, here's my master planning sheet. And it's got all of my needed files. And it integrates with like Google Forms. So for speaker intake and things like that. So it just all works really well. Mm -hmm. That's another thing in the planning. So uh, instead of getting type form or any other paid form software, just use Google Forms. Google Forms, you're going to use that. Uh, there's two ways we do that. So usually we do two applications. First one is for potential speakers, and that has basic information et cetera. And then we have an accepted speaker or, you know, an approved speaker form. So you're looking at creating two forms with Google forms. It's incredibly manip- like you can, it's really malleable. You can make it what you want and you can have people upload pictures and things back in the day. And this wasn't that long ago. You had to have a special plugin to make that happen. Now it's integrated into the form. It's super easy. You don't need to have things like a paid type form account to do it. Google Forms works just fine. So you mentioned that we can skip type form or drop form or any of those paid versions. What else can we skip in the planning part? We can skip, oh, so many things. Uh, We can skip the paid sort of like mind mapping software, the paid funnel mapping software. So these are things that when you're starting to think about a summit, and you start researching summits, if that's what you're doing on Google, congratulations, you're now cookied and you're gonna get ads for different types of summit related programs and services. One of them might be these funnel mapping softwares where it's like, oh, you can lay out your funnel and your emails and your this and your that. Well, they only allow you to do like one free and then everything else is paid. So I don't recommend that. You don't actually need it. Uh, you know, If you work with somebody like me, you kind of get all the templates that you need anyways. So you don't really need to pay for that stuff. I always map funnels out with boxes and errors on a piece of paper. And then I take a picture of it and throw it into a Google Doc. Yeah. And then she sends it to me and goes, I'd like it to look this way. <laughs> right. Actually, it works. It works just fine. So paper and pen is fine too. Just the, the main thing is, is that you have to keep it simple. If you're working within 15 different platforms to build out an event, it's going to get very complex And I will tell you that the more stuff you keep adding, the more challenging it's going to be when you go to do this. And you really don't want it to be. You want to keep it as simple as possible. And quite honestly, use tools that you will continue to use after the event so that you're not paying for something that you're only using for four or three months. And then when it's done, now you're stuck with this piece of software, right? So absolutely just use stuff that you're going to continue to use. I use Google Forms all the time. I use, you know, I use Google Docs every day. 
but I don't need to spend money on things like paid project management software. Asana works just fine. We've talked a lot about why you should build your list, your list, <laughs> your email list. 